first off, let me welcome you to the Keetra Lamar channel. I'm wearing this mask not because of the C word that none of us are going to talk about on YouTube because they ain't letting us talk about it. Um, but because of this crazy pollen out here in Virginia, uh, I'm wearing this to keep from actually sneezing through the whole damn video. So, that being said, we're going to check the car out. So, I've had this car for this year be 17 years. Uh, funny story about the car is it's actually a family member of car. But I didn't get it from the family member. I got it from a dealership. So I had went up the country. I live in Richmond. Uh, I went up the country to Farmville to look at a white STS when I was 15. And we was going to go back. I looked at it, loved it, wanted a Cadillac. Always knew I wanted a Cadillac for first car. We went back up like two days later to get the car. And somebody bought it. Well, it turns out my my uncle's brother-in-law bought the car I was gonna get and traded in his old Cadillac, which is this car, um, to get the Cadillac that I wanted, which I think at the time it was like a 96 uh, white STS. So I ended up, he ended up getting the car I was gonna get and I ended up with his old car. So just looking at the car, it's in pretty good condition. Uh, the only thing I need to do on the other side is replace that plastic cladding and obviously probably try to sand this off down and spray it when it gets painted but other than that like body wise ain't not really any damage on to the car it's probably little different trim pieces i might go back and replace but for the most part she in good condition um it's basically back stock at the current moment never mind the wheels these are temporary we put them on just kind of test fit to see how aggressive uh, i could go let me pop this for y'all and as you see i got the two kicker old school kicker l7 uh, in the trunk this will probably eventually be a, a custom setup just because i'm gonna have to redo some stuff in the trunk so that has to be redone. On roof, so there's no point in me replacing the headliner anytime soon. Um, I'm not going the OG color, but I'll probably just redo this interior. Some nice color to match the outside of the car. Uh, I am doing it an original Cadillac color. However, the Cadillac color did not come on uh, this style car. So it should be should be a good look. Um, but yeah, man, let's start talking about. I think we got enough footage of this. Start talking about the plans. Yeah, yo, I'm inside. I'm sorry, man. The wind was crazy out there. Pollen's blowing around everywhere, and I that mass was making me hot. So I came inside, so y'all could probably hear me a lot better. Also, uh, I didn't get a chance to tell y'all while I was outside of the car will be ls4 swapped that's the whole point of this project is to do something completely different i know it looks like a grandpa car but at the end of the day that's my baby man i've had that car like i said since i was 15 i'll be 33 uh at the end of this year i've put 22s on the car i've taken them off i had another set of 22s on it i took them off again i put the stocks on i've rode 18s it didn't matter like the car's always been slow at one point it was looking real it was looking nice i ain't gonna lie um but you know my taste changed a little bit too with age but i've always been a fast car uh race car type guy you know what i'm saying um but the car is just slow, like out the box, the, the 4.5 liter, I want to say when it rolled off the lot in 1989, it's a 90, uh, it had 185 horsepower, which is not anything. Like it's a pretty, it'll get you where you need to go, but not fast. And, you know, that's the only complaint I've ever had about that car, so... With me loving the car and keeping the car forever, this is not about me getting a return on my investment or any of that stuff that most people will try to say, you're wasting your money. You're right. I am wasting my money, but I'm wasting my money how I want to waste it. I'm not hurting nobody. I don't do drugs. I don't smoke. I really don't drink. So this is this is that for me. Like I don't really shop like that. So 
this is my having fun playing with cars like I have my whole life. Uh, just stay real now. So if y'all don't know about the LS4, uh, the LS4 is the only LS motor by Chevy that was a front wheel drive. Uh, if you don't know my car's front wheel drive, that was a front wheel drive engine. Um, it does share a lot of the parts from the other LS motors. Uh, just, you know, with it being mounted sideways and being front wheel drive, that's the only difference in the motor. Um, so even if I just dropped the stock LS4 in there, it would have already almost doubled the horsepower that my car has currently. Um, and yes, it would still be the world's first LS4 swap Cadillac, front wheel drive Cadillac. Uh, but no, nah, that's not the way I do things. And that's cool, you know, just bragging rights, I guess, but it ain't even about that. So I'm actually, the motor's been purchased and being built currently by Brandon Furches. Uh, you can look him up, Brandon Furches, uh, built by uh, Furches.com, I think it is. No, oh, that's his Instagram, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll put it in the link below. If I got it wrong, I, I apologize. Um, but yeah, built by Furches and LS4 King is my boy Brandon Furches, and he's currently building the motor as we speak. Uh, we also got to get the transmission and stuff going, and you know, as we get further along, I'll do some more updates and pictures. Um, but he is building the motor. The motor will not be stock. Um, the goal for the car, honestly, I'm big into racing, big into the dunk racing scene. I got a box, I got a G body, but I wanted to do something different. So there is no front wheel drive in the dunk racing scene but this will be a car that's in there i uh, will be putting my 22s back on there not like i said we're going three piece doing it the right way um get the look right and but yeah man like this should just should be fun because there's not a front wheel drive car that's even gonna have the numbers that i'm running i guarantee that um except for brandon i ain't even fooling with him if you look him up he has the world's fastest LS4 car currently. I think he's making 786 horsepower. Um, he's probably at 800 by now, but you know. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. Hope to see y'all soon. Y'all stay tuned for this. This is really happening, okay? See y'all next time.